Hey y'all, Reese here, and today I am playing House Flipper 2 on the PC. Last time I helped somebody fix up their cafe, I helped somebody add a cafe to their bookstore, I helped with a water damaged house, I helped with a garage concert and at the after party and <laughs> the chaos from that. I helped uh, my friend Tom flip a house for the first time, a little beach house that was in quite a state of disrepair. Um, I helped an older lady redo her bedroom upstairs so that her uh, grandson could move in, and I um, helped redo a bedroom, uh, bathroom and a kitchen after one lady's daughter didn't do as good a job as she might have hoped with the bathroom. <laughs> this time, I am so excited. I am going to be fixing up the house my parents left me. Ah, this place has been driving me a little bit crazy and I can't wait to get it looking the way that I would prefer. <laughs> so I am going to uh, start here in this room and I am just going to work my way out the house or out of the room and down and out the front door and then I'll probably finish up the stream by working on the outside a little bit. I'm not sure how much of the outside I'm really going to change. Probably just like the um, paneling on the house and stuff. I don't know if I'm really going to add much, but anyway, so let's see. I want to test whether or not this actually counts as trash. All right, it looks like this does, so I think I'm just going to get rid of all of these boxes. Oh, all of these are trash? Hmm. Well, that's a little concerning. I don't want to get rid of all of that. Maybe I won't get rid of those boxes then. But in the meantime, I will at least use these to move them downstairs, since I think it should... What? I thought if it were in a thing, it would move it. Oh, that's really disappointing. Okay. Well, that didn't work out well. Um, so I'll just move these by hand, I guess. Let's actually hold on. Let's actually sell this box because I really don't want to keep it. And then we'll move these downstairs. I believe there's a little, yeah, there's a storage closet here. So we will just put those there for now and we will work on that when we get to it. And so let's see if I, and I, I think I'm going to do at least the floors in cherry wood. I think that'll look good. You know what? I know I sold that one box, but I don't want to do that again. <laughs> and already I'm getting all out of order. <laughs> I will stop doing that and go back to working on this part. I would sell all the useless stuff, but like all the stuff I won't be using. But in my brain, I like to basically be like, well, I'm holding on to it. If my parents need to come back and get it, I assume that they just based on leaving it here um, and they may want to grab it again when the time comes. Like, hey, honey, do you still have our, you know, our weights, my hat box, the casserole dish, whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm actually going to put the casserole dish in the kitchen or if I'm going to... Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if they changed it because there was an update um, that I downloaded just this morning for uh, this game that was like three gigs. So I'm wondering if they changed it so that only certain things will continue carrying whatever is left in them or if this is something that was present at the beginning wow that blends in really well huh you know what this i think i want to just keep on display and if my parents ask for it back which i highly doubt they will but if they do i will just return it to them at that time it would be cool ah. <laughs> it would be cool if the game included that but i don't know if they did all right, so that's this area pretty much cleared out. Let's sell the radiator because it just gets in the way. And I like to imagine that we have uh, vented like HVAC systems. Okay, 
so let's start with the flooring like i said i oh actually hold on i should vacuum up this glass <laughs> before i forget also if i'm going to be doing a bunch of flooring then i would like to get that taken care of because i'm not sure i would hope that laying the flooring over it wouldn't cover up the glass but i just don't know all right so dev dev what is this oh okay um huh interesting is this carpet and this is like put out to test or is this i'm not sure huh interesting well you know what let's just go to surface finishes uh because i saw their um their update they said that they have an update coming in march that is going to add like window uh window fixtures like curtains and blinds which i'm very excited for i would very much love to have curtains in my place and more jobs and the ability to have carpeted floors and walls and so that will be neat in the meantime let's go with panels because there's paint panels tiles and wallpaper so let's see is there any cherry wood driftwood panels ebony panels stained walnut panels european walnut panels light wench panels stained pine panels painted wood panels glossy painted wood panels <laughs> polished wood stained birch damaged painted stained elm american ash stained beech red beech Oak panels, Brazilian walnut, nice. Brazilian walnut can be pretty. Uh, European ash, stained chestnut, light beech, dark wench, yellow wood, American cherry. Okay, do they have Brazilian cherry? Dark beech, red cedar, Brazilian cherry. It's the literally the last option. Uh, mahogany, high gloss. The high gloss looks interesting. And light cedar panels. Well, let's go with the cherry. So how do I, what's this? Change style. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so they have rotation and they have cut pattern. Let's do the cut pattern first because I think probably we'd be able to see the rotation better. Oh, okay, so they've got little squares, little... What is this style? I'm not sure. Basically, small squares with diamond shapes inside. Honeycomb. Um, lines, thicker lines. <laughs> herringbone different herringbone and parquet interesting um hmm well let's see i'm not sure what cut pattern i'd want let's uh let's check this one out and then we'll oh okay so choosing that gave me extra options cut pattern rotation and cut pattern size well let's see oh okay nice all right, well, let's see what four looks like and cut pattern rotation. Oh, okay. So it just changes the way the grain goes on the wood. That's really neat. All right, well, then I think we'll go with this. And let's see, rotation. Oh, you can make it like diagonal or straight up and down. I think I want to stick with this. And let's open it up. And we will see how this looks. You know what? Let's do just a small section right now. Oh, that's not the way I want it to go. Okay, well then, I'm glad that I know that. Let's change copy style, duplicate. Oh, I don't have the ability to change the style yet. Shoot. Well, that's going to make things more complicated. I thought I had unlocked that. Darn it. I should have checked first. Um, all right, then why don't we do one job real quick and we will see if that unlocks it because I definitely don't want to be working on my house without that. And I kind of screwed up. <laughs> I thought I had checked, but I guess not. Um, okay. So let's go to emails. There are two emails, one in Pinnacove suburb and one in the crayfish coast. Or I guess I could finish out that room. I mean, I suppose I could do this without the ability to just change the style willy-nilly, but I think that's going to get really annoying. So, okay. Hmm. Let's look at the Pinnacove Suburbs one. Closing time. Woodrow Foster. Woodrow's Furniture. Gigmail.pin. Hello, Miss PC. 
You probably haven't heard about it before, but our family house hosts the only lumberjack museum in Pinnacove. Not for much longer, I'm afraid. Since my wife and I are very busy these days, and we have few visitors, we've decided to close it. We want to use the space as a proper living room instead. We need help with cleaning it out and replacing the furniture. There's also a sm small guest bathroom that we would like to turn into a laundry room. I've heard that you're a reliable person and can help with our request. We'll pack the family's souvenirs before your arrival, but please remember to unpack them after the new furniture is replaced. Actually, hold on. This is a perk, isn't it? Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to just sell items? Hmm. You know what? I might do that one in a minute, but let me run through here and sell a bunch of stuff because maybe that'll get me what I need. I can at least hope, and I'm not planning on keeping most of the stuff anyway, so let's see. Um, You know what? I'll buy my own kettle. I want to keep that because that's really cool, but I will sell all this. I was hoping to keep it like with the idea that I would be... um living here while doing this reno but i am actually just going to sell it because i would really prefer not to have to do any jobs right now if i can avoid it let's see how much has that brought that up 78 okay maybe i can do this just by selling all this stuff in my parents house and around my parents house um let's see i don't want to keep that I'm gonna get rid of that shelf. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have quite done that. All right. Let's see. Sell this. Sell that. Sell this. Sell that. <laughs> Do I really need three trash cans? I don't think so, especially if I'm the only person living here. So I'm just going to sell those two as well. Hmm. Should I get rid of this? I think I'll hang on to that. Maybe I'll just change it when I can. I do not want to... I do want to keep the fireplace if I can. But let's see. If I sell that... And there are some keys here, so I think I want to keep those. But if I sell these countertops... And the refrigerator and everything else, hopefully that'll be enough to push me over. And I'll sell this stuff too. And just replace it when the time comes. Oh, I really, really hope this works and it gets me enough, because if not, maybe I can just buy things and sell them. But would that be worth it, I wonder? Oh, hold on, there's a note here. Hi, my future self, because no one else cleans here. <laughs> okay, let's take and put this upstairs for now, these uh, sticky notes. And then this is the one that, yeah, left you some pizza in the fridge that had gone terribly bad by the time I found it. Um, what's this? Can I read this? Let's, let's hang this on the wall and maybe I can read it. Okay. Hi, sweetie. We've just settled in Moonrise Bay. Our new house is really lovely. You should come visit to see for yourself and call more often. Take good care of our old Pinnacove home. Hugs and kisses. Mom and dad. 42 Angler Road. Pinnacove. FD 51209. Okay. And what does this say? If you need to fix uh, something, the toolbox is in the garage. Okay. I will eventually put the sticky notes somewhere. I mean, I guess those wouldn't be terrible to sell, huh? If it came down to it, but I'd rather not. So let's see. We will sell the oven. I think we should probably keep the light switch, though. And we'll take all this stuff and put it upstairs in my bedroom. How? Actually, hold on. We're going to put it here because I don't tend to get rid of this stuff. And that way I can sell the stuff in my bedroom as well because I don't think I'll be keeping much of it. I'll probably keep a few things, but for the most part I'm going to sell it and replace it with new things when I have the chance. All right, so... Let's see. Just put this here. And how is that coming along? 86%. Well, that's not terrible. Let's see. Actually, hold on. How much do I get just from selling something? 
So that was at 86. It's still at 86. Darn it. Okay, I might have to buy a few things and then sell them back just to make sure that I get what I need. I'm going to sell the poster. I do not want to sell the little frog and the crayfish friend that I... Uh, the frog that I had and the crayfish friend I bought for him. So we'll just put these here. Sell this bed, sell the carpet, the shoes, the lamp. Pretty much sell everything. <laughs> uh good morning chuck how are you doing today it is uh thank you for stopping by <laughs> i am doing okay i hope that your coffee is really good <laughs> all right um let's see what is this i don't know if i necessarily want to keep that i'll probably sell it if it comes down to it huh and crayons okay i wonder how old that is then do I really want to keep the train set? Frankly, no, and it's got several pieces. I'm probably never going to do anything with it. I should probably sell that blackboard as well. Ah! Well, that works, I guess. <sighs> okay. It's definitely an interesting way to level stuff up. Let's grab this and move it over here. There we go. And I don't think I need most of this crafting stuff. So I think I'll just sell pretty much all of it. It's neat that they included it, but I think I'll buy what I might be interested in. I'll leave the notebook though. Is there anything in these drawers? No. All right, we will sell that. I don't think I really need to be living out of luggage anymore either. Yes! Okay, cool. I got it, and I didn't have to go do a... Um... Ah! What the? Oh, that was just attached. Interesting. Okay. I'm just gonna sell that sticky note. And then... These pieces, and I think I'll move these out of the bedroom just to be on the safe side, and then that'll be good. Can I? Oh, I can. It lined up perfectly for just a second, and then it was gone. So let's put this in. Okay, I guess we'll put it there. <laughs> All right. Actually, hold on. Can I? start putting some of this stuff away in this drawer well not like that it seems i guess we can just line it up there that might do well all right let's take this and put it away oh <sighs> i wonder what's in this envelope if anything well might as well just put it away to be safe and we'll just, I don't like resting it there that haphazardly, but. Oh, there's a little robot friend. We'll go put him with these guys. And I will find a place for them eventually. Hmm. There's a guitar. Do I want to sell that? I think so. And I guess I will just sell all that stuff too. So I guess we'll get the selling out of the way first. And we'll put that there. I bet I could make a nice arrangement out of that. And then what should I do with the postcards? I don't really want to put them in this drawer here. Just because... Um, I think I would like to put the sticky notes in here. And there are a fair few to collect up throughout the house so let's see call me mom and I think I would rather put the postcards like in the office that I'm going to be working on so actually hold on let's put the sticky note here and then we'll just put the envelope here and then we'll see how well I can stack up this mm. <sighs> the thing is I don't really oh and there's another Okay, well, I'll just keep that one then. See, I would like to organize it by color, but I 
think that would get kind of annoying. So for now, let's just grab all of these and we'll put them on the wall next to here. And I will organize them at a later date when maybe it'll be a little bit easier. And I think I should probably, since it's not my postcard that I like, that I like wrote to my parents, I think I will put that in the drawer as well. Especially since it's all coffee stained and everything. All right, so let's see, are there, yeah, there are a few more sticky notes in here. Oh, it would probably be faster to just sell them all, but. It's like, these are notes from my parents. I want to keep them. <laughs> and if I find any more, I'll just add them here. And that'll probably be the last thing I do. If I do it at all. Oh, this is, that box is so beat up. But no. So let's run it down here real quick. Oh, there are some pots and pans that I didn't sell. Weird. Okay. Oops. Well, we will come over here. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's a dresser here and some more stuff. What's this say? Send Tom documents. Oh, I wonder if... Okay, well then I should definitely hold on to these, whatever they are, to send them... Yeah, I need to move this envelope. I thought I was done with that, but apparently not. All right, there we go. And then there were two more envelopes in here. Do I really need to keep just empty envelopes, though? Oh, there was like five. Never mind. All right, you know what? I will just sell the envelopes then. Close that up. And anything else in here? No. All right. We'll sell that. And I think I want to hang on to this, but I'm not sure where I'd put it. So let's check out this change style now. Let's change the cut pattern rotation to this and see if that gets me more what I want. No. Okay, so maybe it's not cut pattern rotation. Oop. Maybe it's just rotation. Oh, okay. So it was rotation and we'll set that back. Ah, not edit wiring. <laughs> All right, let's see now. There we go. That's the way I wanted it. Um, you know what? Hold on. We should probably... Wait, okay. So, can I copy this style? Okay, so I can just find the surface finish in the store. So I think what I want to do now that I've got that set and because the box is starting to empty is finish this out and then once the box is empty, I'll just copy it. Those are some awfully wide panels, but I like it that way. I, I think the wider panels, I mean, they're a little overwhelming in this space. Hmm. But I like it for the others. So let's just put that down in the bedroom and then I will change. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, change the style. Maybe if I tunk it down one, it'll look better in there. Although I do like the idea of having it be uniform throughout the house. But I think these more narrow panels, especially in this smaller space, is better. Oh, and ran out of surface finish. Huh. Weird. I'm supposed to be able to close the door, but it was just turning the handle. Odd. All right. So let's see it actually here in the bedroom. Let's do a compare. Which one looks better? Yeah, I guess the more narrow panels look good. So we'll just keep it like that then. And we'll just finish out this box real quick. Since I'm going to be having to do the bedroom anyway, I may as well just do it like this. Is that... let's see... Wow, 
that really went pretty far, huh? <laughs> but not far enough to quite finish out the... Oh. Okay, I think it's going to take a little getting used to changing this around. Let's take this and we'll just plop it in here for now. <laughs> All right. So what... Actually, hold on. If we copy style and then let's put this in the bathroom for now and we'll... So one box probably could have finished out the bedroom. So let's buy four and see if that's enough to do the whole house. Because I would like to keep the flooring consistent through the entire house. Anyway, um, let's see what else I can do with this. Because I would like the flooring to match the bottom of the wall. Because I think what I want to do is I want to do wallpaper on top and then panels on like the bottom half of the wall. So let's see what other options we have for this. I think probably the larger ones will work better for actual wall finishes. Do I want to do just straight planks though? Or do I want to do something else? I mean, these look really, really cool, but I think it might be a little bit overwhelming if I do the entire one. Well, you know what? Actually, hold on. What are the options here? Because I swear I saw... Okay, so they did a bunch of little ones on the bottom and wow they just kind of uh changed it up all over the place huh i guess that's my mom's eclectic style coming into play again all right well then let's go upstairs i think i have an idea for what i want to try all right and if this doesn't work out then i can just adjust it as needs be so let's do this oh is this the right rotation let's see how it looks on the wall because i want it going uh vertically not horizontally okay so that's kind of big let's narrow it down to here okay it looks like these are going vertically and the panels are pretty big hmm i think even that's a little too large so let's change this up again and we will do the cut pattern size let's see how this looks at three we'll place this on the wall hmm interesting but let's try okay hold on I want to try maybe doing a different cut pattern. Let's see what this one looks like. See if this looks good, because I would like it to just be... Hmm. It's a little difficult to tell. Does flashlight help? No, flashlight does not help. I was hoping that it might illuminate things a little more. Let's try these then. And we'll see how this looks. Ooh, that's going sideways, I think. All right, I guess we'll try changing the rotation of that and see if that works out. Hmm, that's a little better, I think. But I still don't love that bottom line. So let's see, what other options? Hmm... Let's try this. Sorry, I'm being... Nope, let's rotate that again. I'm being fussy, but it's going to be my permanent house and I would like to get it exactly as I like it. Hmm. I mean, at least it doesn't have... Ah, sorry. At least it doesn't have that annoying... Uh... But I think the grooves are a little too deep. <sighs> okay, which means this one would probably be even worse. So, hmm. Let's try this one. The cut pattern size is as big as I can make it. 
We'll change the rotate. Can I not? Oh, okay, cool. I can change the rotation for some reason. It was just being stubborn. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I should not have changed the rotation on that. I should leave it like this. So let's see. Wow, you cannot tell the difference on that much at all. Let's try this then. Oh, trying to figure out what would be best on the walls is proving to be a bit of a challenge. I don't like that that doesn't have enough definition. I'm using up a whole box of this to find something perfect. Um, all right, I guess we'll try this again. We'll do that cut pattern size and we will see. Uh, I'm just not sure what exactly I want. Because I don't love the uh, plank look. I just wanted maybe if I do larger planks, I will be able to get rid of that. Let's try this and hopefully this goes well. <laughs> All right, well, it's not ideal, but I guess it's what I have to work with. <sighs> All of that debating, only to come back and be like, yeah, I guess what I started with is fine. I guess it's the best option I can find right now, <laughs> anyway. <sighs> okay. And then I think I want to top it oh, with uh, the little squares, because those look really neat. Ah! That's not what I meant to do. I'm getting all crazy. <laughs> it's going all topsy-turvy. Okay. And then, let's see. I want to do this. And then I think I want it to be... Hmm. Let's see. And I'll only do it one on this one. Because I want to see... No, that's too big. Okay. So let's take it down to one and see if that's a good size. That's still too big. I guess we'll go with the smallest size possible then. And hopefully this actually works. I mean, my mom did the tiny tiles, so hopefully. There we go. Okay. Nice. I got a surface finish perk point. After I finish this up, I will go check that out and see what we got. See, this is the problem, though. I was hoping to get planks that would line up well with these small squares at the top, and I just cannot figure out how to do that right now. I've tried a bunch of different things, and it hasn't worked out well. So I guess that's good enough. I mean, I guess I could try just one more thing. If I take the cut pattern size on this down... If I have to deal with it being too big and having those lines, you know what? I guess I'll just deal with that then. This is good enough. <laughs> I was hoping for just a smooth continued pa uh, panel, but I don't, I can't figure out how to do that. I'm not saying there's not a way. I'm just saying I don't know how. <sighs> but... Okay, I think this will work out well enough, and I think this will look good throughout the house. So, now that I've got that decided, I think the next thing I want to do is figure out exactly what kind of wallpaper I want in here. Let's open up the door again. <laughs> Alright, so if I go back and we'll go to wallpaper. I know there were a couple that I saw that I really, really liked, and I'm just wondering which one... I mean, I think that's the one, yeah, that's the one that's already in here. And it's pretty, but I think it's a little too much. Plus, I would prefer all my stuff to have kind of a white background. Um, you know what? Let's check out this one. I can change, oh, I can change the style. So I guess I could change that, the climbing trellis, but one maybe. This one. Okay, so I can only change the color of the background and the flowers. And the climbing trellis would... Oh! Huh. Interesting. Wait, hold on. Can I only change... Let's, let's check out what this does. 
Oh, okay. So it's going to be permanently blue. And I just change the background and then the stripes in the middle. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to go with this because it's very pretty and I like it. But I think I'm only going to use it in here probably. Just to kind of set it apart from the rest of the house. So, oh right, surface finish perk. I should check that out first. Heavy lifting. You can carry more tiles, panels, or wallpaper sheets at once. Let's work those muscles and carry even more. Okay, well, here we go. Now I should be able to carry more. Okay, then. <laughs> Out of surface finish. <sighs> Let's see. Does that look good? I think that looks good. That makes me happy. So I think that's what I'll go with. And I do like how easy they made it to really lay the the um the tiles and everything. I do enjoy that. So let's There we go. I think that looks nice. And I'm at a surface finish again. <laughs> oh, and it's pulling from that side now. Odd, I thought it was going to pull from the other one. Oh, well. <sighs> okay. There we go. Okay. I think that looks pretty nice now just to decorate it. So, oh, hold on. Uh, right. I need to remember that I need to press R to change things around. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Let's see. Well, one thing I definitely think I want to do is change up the window. So let's do that. Shutters, yes or no? I guess I'll go with shutters, windowsill, muntin, muntin? I'm not sure. Bars. Let's see. Handles. Oh, okay. Um, I think I like this style of the handle. Oh, wow. Okay. So this really lets me get in depth with it. So I think I would like to keep it. Should I keep it the Brazilian cherry wood or should I go with something else? The dark beach doesn't look bad. The high gloss wood looks really nice, but I think I'll keep it the cherry wood after all. All right. So we'll do this. Let's see what I can do for. Oh, okay, so I can have the handles be plastic. I don't like that idea at all. They do have uh, metal, though, so that's good. Steel, sandblasted steel, chrome, black iron for cool steel. Warm metal is gold, rose gold. Wow, that doesn't stand out much at all. Bronze or copper, and then custom color. Brushed aluminum or coated metal. What does coated metal look like? Oh, oh, that's neat. I I definitely think I'll want to use this in something else, but I don't know if it's necessarily good to use it for the handles. I think I'd rather just go with something solid. So let's see. I mean, logically, like the steel would look best. Let's see, steel or bronze? I mean, the bronze blend, blah, the bronze blends in a little bit better, but the steel stands out a little more. So, hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, if they had brass, that might be neat, but I don't think they do. So let's just go with steel. Yeah. And then windowsill, also Brazilian cherry, shutters, Brazilian cherry, Linton bars, cherry. Okay, and I think I can now take this and apply it to other windows. Let's see, though. Okay, so that does have shutters, so let's copy the style again. And... Oh, that is so clean, so smooth. I definitely like that. Let's run through and do all the windows in my house. What happens if I try and apply it to this? 
Oh, but it's got shutters, but they're closed. Okay, well then, let's just do it to the windows that I know have shutters, and then I'll go through and change up the ones that I think, oh, this is wow, kind of a wreck. Change up the ones that don't. Let's, let's step outside and see which ones all have shutters. Okay, so the top floor, several of them have shutters. The bottom floor, less so. But the one in my bedroom has shutters, so we should definitely go change that up. But it looks like the bottom floor doesn't have any, so... All right, let's head upstairs, change the... Was this not in... Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, there we go, and we will change the style on this one real quick. And can I just get rid of the shutters? I think that's probably good, and then I'll just copy this style and apply it to the rest of the ones. Um, Everything matches. Use the flipper tool to copy and paste the same item style five times. Nice. All right, so we'll copy and paste... Huh, where's where's the handle on this one? Hold on. So shutters, windowsill. Oh, this one doesn't have a handle to open it for some reason. That's weird. I don't like that. I wonder if I should just sell this one and then copy this or duplicate this. You know what? Yeah, let's let's try that, because I would like these to match if possible. Oh, and now there's just a hole there. Um, I do wish there was an undo button if you like don't like what you did. So let's duplicate this and then we will. Can I put it here? Yes. OK, that fits well there. And now it all looks cohesive. Nice. All right. So we'll copy the style. What happens if I paste it here? OK, cool. And paste it here. That one's already done. Paste it here. The windows are still a little messy, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Is there... Yeah, there are a couple in the garage. And I think that'll about do it for the windows in the house. I should probably also do this to the doors. <laughs> and maybe the door frame as well. Okay, hold on. Let's change the style of this door so door swings left or right i think we want to keep the swinging the way it is Ugh. i do not love that handle that one's interesting it's very ornate blocky a little simpler mm, a little small um ooh, i like that one let's keep it like that all right so we will change this and okay so that's how that works and then we will change the handle to cool steel so that everything matches i wish the cool steel were a little bit brighter but oh well so let's copy this and we will paste that what happens if i try and paste this on an inner door like this oh it changed the rotation of it so I think I'll go through on the ones that I want to swing a certain way and change those. But right now I'll just copy paste to make this much faster. Okay, and now I will change the swing the way that it opens on all the ones that I want to open properly because I did like the way that they all opened it's just I wonder if I had done it from the opposite direction if that would have changed anything if I had gone inside and copy pasted it from there I wonder if that would have made any difference but it's not like it was difficult to oh change of mind this color looked better in the store I guess I get that for changing it back a certain amount of times anyway all right so let's now that the windows and the doors in the entire house have been sorted let's go back in here actually hold on let's change the style on this a little bit hmm well you know what maybe i'll just buy a new door for there 
I think it's fine for now. Anyway, um, so let's see. Where all do I want to put stuff? Hmm. All right, well, let's see what the options are. Okay, so we've got accessories, bathroom fixtures, beds, cabinets, decorations, electronics, hobbies, home appliances, lights, seats, storage, and tables. I think I want to go with storage. Oh, okay, so we've got a neat little shoe bench, coat rack. Oh, the shelf that uh, I like that my parents left. Shelf Bessie. <laughs> okay, so that the shelf that I really like in the office is called Bessie. Interesting. Hmm. The cozy and dressers aren't bad. And the bookcase. But let's see what else they've got. I don't like the Dione. I don't like this one. The Eider's not bad, but it's a little old-fashioned, I think. Which isn't bad, but let's see. Nope, not doing that one. Just because I don't want to have to read it every single time. It sounds too much like something else. Uh, Kielo. Ooh, Loridon. Loridon looks nice. I wonder if they have a dresser. Sideboard, wall unit, cabinet, another cabinet, another cabinet. Doesn't look like they have a dresser for that. That's really disappointing. I do not like the Luno. Um, Martin, eh. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can break this down further into... Let's see wardrobes then. Talar. Oh, and I can spin it around. Isn't bad. Wardro uh, warbler. Okay, hold on. Where are dressers? Tall storage looks to be bookshelves. Small storage is nightstand, it looks like. Interesting. Just shelves. Cool. Oh, this is neat. I like this. That's cute. I think I, I think that's what I'm going to go with when I decide to go with it downstairs. Uh, to, when I do the entryway area. Um, let me see. Hmm. Oh, well, I like this. I think I want to put this in my bedroom. But, oh, I am. I don't like the... Segovia. <sighs> there are a lot of options, which I appreciate. I just wish that there were more to my style. Okay, then. So, let's see. There's this dresser, which has a little area underneath or something. Or there are these. I think I'll go with this one with the little area underneath for storing things. It's not perfect, but I mean, no. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I'm not seeing much else that's really fitting my style personally. And normally I would like to go, oh, I should actually change this in here. So let's see, I can change the handles. Hmm. Let's turn this so I can actually see what the handles look like. Those aren't bad. Oh, these are the little pulls. I like that because it means that nothing can get caught. The rings are interesting. Ooh, I like that. Eh. Huh, that's neat. 15 is interesting. It's sort of got a oh and there are heart ones it sort of got like a a rounded pull thing so let's do that one and then do i want to do more brazilian cherry wood or do i want to do something that stands out a little more uh let's see how this high gloss wood looks with um okay so i have the option of Glossy plastic or matte plastic, damaged painted wood, cork and particle board, and a bunch of different kinds of wood. I'm a little bit disappointed that there's no stone options, because I think these in a stone would look really, really cool. 
but let's go with glossy painted wood and we'll just change up the what is this oh interesting i can apply essentially wallpaper to it that's odd but i can't apply a stone look to it so let's go with this i guess that works and handle details will be cool steel let's see how this looks hmm I mean, the grain is a little bit busy, but overall, I do think it works well for the, um, for the, uh, as a contrast against the cherry wood. Can I change? No. Okay. It's just that shade and there's nothing I can do about it. Let's do a comparison. Hmm. Yeah, I think that blends in a little bit too well. I think I'll go with the high gloss wood for a lot of my furniture. Um, just I think that'll really pop against the cherry wood. Okay, so let's see. That's done. Should I take this and put this in here? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Since this is like supposed to be a dressing room let's see there was a in the storage yeah the shoe bench let's do this i think that'll be good in here because it's like yeah i'm just sitting down you know i i can sit down i can pull on socks or whatever i want a shoe bench down in the uh entryway as well but and mattress oh okay so the options are striped suede doesn't look bad standard suede burlap uh, ribnet fabric eh, knitted fabric glossy leather don't love that alligator leather well yeah i mean that definitely looks like alligator leather quilted fabric is kind of nice but i imagine it would be kind of rough under my hands poplin fluffy carpets odd and leather let's let's go with the suede i think and we will change the color up because i would like it to be a bit of a more vibrant Green, although that's a little too vibrant, I think. Let's see. Hmm. I can do pure and that makes it a little darker. Or I can do rich and that makes it a little bit... Let's do rich. Does this fit right here? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Okay. And I think... I don't think I should put any decorations there. Um, but you know what? I'm going to take my little toys and put them here <laughs> so it looks like they're just sitting here. I think that'll be cute. And they'll be just, you know, having a nice little conference, playdate, something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, there we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I move it around a little bit more not much okay and then we'll take this little guy and put him right here right between these two there we go i think that's cute uh oh. i mean this is supposed to be a dressing area i should probably do a mirror i hate mirrors <sighs> um but I think it would look good in here. And it's not like it actually shows any kind of reflection that I've seen. So, or that I've noticed. So, it'd probably be in decorations, right? Floor decor, picture, standing, wall decor. Yep, it's in wall decor. I wonder if I can just look up mirror, but... Darn it, hiccups. Sorry. Um, okay. So, um, I don't like that one in here. Oh, all right. I think I'll go with this one, this bran mirror. And we'll do the high polished wood and the details will all be also be the high gloss wood. Oh, that's actually kind of small compared to this dresser. OK, hold on. What other options? I mean, there's this one, but that's kind of wide and not tall enough. There's that one, which is way too small. Blaine is too small. Let's check out this Eider mirror. Well, that fits better um trident 
No. Dinar? Probably not. Oh, what's this one? Goose? Actually, the goose almost fits, but I don't like the general... Okay. Uh, there's hands coming out of the wall. That's not creepy at all. Um... Hmm. I could turn this on its side, but again, it's just not wide enough. Oval? No. Helene? No. I hope that they eventually add more mirror options. Warbler? Definitely not. Okay. So I guess the best option that I have is this Eider mirror then. Which I can make that work. Let's see. Is this lined up well with the dresser? Yeah, I guess that's good enough. Uh, you know what? I want to I think I want to put a shelf here with uh flowers on it. So let's go back down to or cabinets? No. Where is it? Storage down here. All the way down here. And I'll find a good shelf. There's this rambling shelf. Actually, hold on. Let's actually go to shelves instead of having to look through the whole thing. There's Camden. Uh, Jalava? Hmm. Mimis Shelf. Lean. I am glad that it has... Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go on break real quick then. Oops. A lot of time passed and I didn't notice it. Okay. Um, so let me see. A good shelf for in here that I really like. I think the only thing that I'm going to find that I really like for the wall is the brambling. So let's do that and we will change it. Should I change this to the high gloss wood so it matches the furniture? Or should I change it more to the cherry wood? Um, I think probably having it match... The furniture would be better. Hmm. And I think I should put this about here, probably? Um, that's a little close to the mirror, though. But I want the mirror to line up well with the, uh, the, the dresser, so I think it's fine. Um, let's see. And it's starting to get dark. Oh, I should change the, the light fixture, too, huh? Well, you know what? For now, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see. What's in gardening? Nature decor, ornamental plants, plant pots and stands. That was a, that's what I was hoping to find. Um, Small, tiny, or very large. Well, I want to find a long one, and I don't know what that would be a part of. So this is for a wall. I don't really want a wall. I want a standing one. How many of those, I wonder, are there? I mean, I guess I could do a wall plant pot and just put it right above, but I don't love that idea. Okay, so... Because it looks like a lot of the standing ones are, like, circular. This is... That's interesting. <laughs> I don't like I don't mind this one it's a little plain but I think it's okay yeah it looks like any standard square which doesn't oh hold on this looks like it might actually be a uh and so is this one they're not they're longer narrow ones but they're not wall pots so let's check this out oh and it's nice I bet this would work really well so let's change the base the high gloss wood um and by that nice i can just stand up here did i get no that is not centered at all let's stand on the dresser then um you know what let's try snapped grid for this one there we go i think that looks good let's sell oh Let's sell <laughs> the light fixtures in here and we'll replace it with something else real quick. So 
lights, ceiling lamps. What do we have as options? Uh, hmm. A chandelier, a pendant lamp. Well, not really pendant light, but hanging lamp. Uh, don't love that one. Um. Hmm. I think these are like the little should be recessed into the ceiling, but aren't for reasons. I wonder if I could like move it upward. Huh. Okay, so there are not a ton of ceiling lamp choices, but that's okay. I'm sure they'll add more. Uh, in the meantime, you know what? Let's go with this one. Can I make it metal? I can. Okay, cool. And let's see. Bronze or copper? I think copper will look better. Oh, and I get to change the brightness. Neat. Okay. Well, let's see. Can I? Oh, because the roof slopes, I can't put a ceiling light there. All right, well, we'll just put it there and let's go to the wiring and attach it to here. And there we go. Now that's all lit up. Nice. Okay. So with that done, let's actually, you know what? Let's grab this to stand on in here so I can put some flowers in here. So let's go back to here and let's see. Ornamental plants, trees, vines and hanging plants. Interesting. Uh, shrubs. I think, it, I think flowers would probably be in ornamental plants then. Okay, so we've got some um, succulents. Uh, we've got some... Ooh, there's like... Bamboo. Well, lucky bamboo anyway. Technically, lucky bamboo isn't bamboo. Um, but it kind of looks like it. I actually have a lucky bamboo plant that is like eight years old by now. It's amazing. I love that it's lasted this long. And I keep worrying that it's going to die, but it just keeps on going. I am so very <laughs> proud of the little thing. Okay. Well, now we're getting into flowers. There are orchids. I've never been a huge fan of orchids personally. They're pretty, but I just, I don't know. I like something with more color, more flowers. Ooh, like this. Okay, so we've got some petunias. Do these dangle? Oh, these do dangle. Neat. Okay, I bet I could do some really neat stuff with that. Uh, These don't, I think, though. But they are a little bit big. Um, but I could make it work. Let's see if there's anything smaller, though. I hope they don't only have... Ooh, roses. Nice. Aw, and a little single rose. Cool. Probably play around with that later. Rose bushes. Ah, rose trees. I thought it was a tree when I was doing the uh, cafe. I was like, I know it's technically a rose bush, but this looks more like a tree. And that's what they called it. Cool. Rebecca. I Whoa, that's kind of big. <laughs> that is definitely not. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's not an indoor plant, but it's not. Oh, so they've got tulips and bunches of tulips. Tulips are nice, too. Um, Oh, they have pansies. Cool. OK, I think I'll do some pansies in here then. There are so many color options to choose from. Can I get? No, I can't go in and change the color of them. So I think I'm just stuck with whatever. I wind up getting, but I bet I could make a really nice arrangement. So let's go with the pink and then we will trend. At, mm, let's see how much room I have. Okay. So we'll change this. We'll do the pink one here. And then I guess we'll do these red ones. Hold on, can I? Okay. And then... I guess we'll do the mixed as the end one. Normally I would like a little bit more vibrant colors, but... Oh, those are so pretty. I like them. Okay. Um, you know what? Since we are working in here and... Oh, I don't know how often I would be... 
um, opening this window, let's put a flower pot. Is there a smaller one than that? I think there was, right? Um, okay, so there was this one. Oh, there are these small ones. Let's see. I don't know if I could put a wall box. I mean, I guess I could just do this one again and just have it being, oh, but that makes it have to sit really close and kind of hanging over. And I wouldn't want to risk like, you know, bumping it and knocking it all to the ground. Oh, this is for a wall decoration. Okay. Um. So let's see, I'm not sure what I would want. I mean, I guess I could, no, yeah, that, that does not work when I try and set it on top of a, um, a thing, uh, a windowsill. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is rather large. Can I? No. Yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, this. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of big. <laughs> that is taller than I was expecting. I thought that one was going to be smaller. Okay. Um, what about you? How do you look? I mean, I guess I could do it this way. All right, hold on. So let's change this to the high gloss and then I will put down at least two of them. I think I might want to do three though. Oh, but no, that makes it stick out too far. Okay, well, we'll just do two and then we'll put a couple of succulents in here. So let's see, I like this one. We'll put this one right here and then let's do this pretty purple one over here. I think that looks good. They'll get plenty of light. Darn it, hiccups. Now this still feels a little bare, so let's put up a picture. Let's see what picture options they have. Okay, so decorations, pictures. And so posters, crayfish, picture frame. Okay, game box, deluxe, sticker deluxe. More posters. Huh. Are there only... Odd. I'm very confused now because there are just a bunch of posters and picture frames. I wonder if the picture frames have like pictures in them. I would hope so because that makes no sense otherwise. <laughs> Uh, so let's, let's check out this one, I guess. Uh, that's a little, yeah, we'll check out this one. And base, mat, and custom picture. Okay. I hope this mean, I hope this doesn't mean that they didn't put in any pictures and we would have to upload them from our own collection because that would be really disappointing. So let's check out mat. Okay custom picture oh thank goodness okay they do have pictures in the custom pictures that you can just use nice i am oh and it's like i know i saw like this pretty one in another house where is it i don't understand um so let's see in here um at least there are a fair few options <laughs> Anatomy of a beaver. Okay. It's got the feet. It's got a drawing of their skull. Interesting. Hmm. But what do I want in here? What do I... Oh, this is just a stock thing. Interesting. I, I find it interesting that they apparently made it so that you can use other people's family pictures because these were in the older lady's house and it's odd okay um you know what in here let's do this red one uh and let's do precise placement for this because i think i want it 
to be lined up less precisely on the actual wall and more in comparison to where the um, the dresser is, just to make the room look more balanced. Okay, I think that's good. I am happy with the way that this looks. This is the end of that bit. Let's, oh, uh, nice. Okay, that's something they changed. The lights don't automatically shut off when you leave a room. I like that. 